Another day, another multi-billion dollar plan from Governor Tim Walz. This one including dozens of construction projects across the state. Political reporter Theo Keith at the Capitol tonight. And so, Theo, does the state have money to do all of this, though? <laughs> Uh, the answer, Kelsey, is yes, and that's because uh, it comes from different pots of money. A lot of public construction is financed with borrowing, though Democrats are also talking about using cash from the state surplus to do some of these projects. You mentioned the governor. Today he took a tour of a water treatment plan in St. Paul in order to build a support for this plan. For water, for roads, for bridges, affordable housing construction, there are hundreds of millions of dollars each, more than half a billion dollars for college campus buildings. All told, the governor's plan is $3.3 billion, a record. The portion that's borrowed is $1.9 billion, and that requires 60 percent support in the legislature, and that means Republican votes. But the state has such a huge surplus that Democrats are already taking, talking about a backup plan. If they can't get GOP support, and that would be a cash only bill that only requires a simple majority. At this point in time, our goal is to get those votes that we need, get that bipartisan vote, uh, get those folks on board, make sure everybody's voice is heard and go with that. But I also said that we certainly reserve the right to get these projects done one way or another. Beyond roads and bridges, there are millions of dollars in the governor's plan for ice rinks, soccer fields, tree planting, and also a couple hundred million of dollars for communities of color and Native American communities. The governor says more than six billion dollars in all was requested from local governments. Pent up demand because last year's divided legislature never passed one of these types of bills. Kelsey.